We welcome you to another news broadcast of What's Up in the Upper School, produced by the WOW Network on the campus of Webb School of Knoxville. And now we take you to the WOW Network broadcast studio in the Haslam Center for what's been up in the upper school and what's upcoming. Hi, I'm Lily Grace though. And I'm Kaylee Hames. And this is Web on the Web, the WOW Network, what's up in the upper school. You know, we know that we've been a little distant lately, but hopefully we're planning to um, do what's up every week for the rest of the school year. But week of February 10th, Kaylee, let's just go ahead and take it back a few steps to January with winter formal, great outcome from the student body and the teachers, you know, lots of support, great photos, great dresses, overall just a great time. Yes, big thank you to SGA and all the parents and teachers, you know, that helped um, get that going. Yes, and so, sure. speaking of thank you, on behalf of the seniors, we have three more months until we graduate. Three more months, that's, that's 2019, that's crazy. make the most of it. <laughs> yeah, but we just wanna give a big thank you to all the parents, the moms, dads, faculty, staff who have helped put on our amazing senior lunches for this year and hopefully more to come. They've yes. been amazing. Those are crazy. I mean, you just walk into the commons on those days and it's like, whoa, is this still the commons? Just, it's a great job. On that note, Kaylee, let's just go ahead and jump from, you know, the senior class, class of 2019, all the way down to our junior Spartans. I think it's class of 30 something, hard to believe, but um, let's just go ahead and take a look at what's going on in the lower school involving their principal, Angie Crabtree, and their new playground. Play is an important part of every child's development and recess is offered to our lower school students every day. Play also allows our children to use their creativity while developing their imagination, dexterity, and physical, cognitive, and emotional strength. This playground provides a space that is physically interactive and promotes interpersonal, social play, and play is a simple joy that is a treasured part of your childhood. We also have some guests here, some friends and donors of the school who, because of your generosity, your love of the lower school, and your love of Ms. Crabtree and her dream, we're able to have both of these new playgrounds. So thank you to our, our donors and friends of the school. We appreciate it very much. And you all need to understand that the love that generated the conception and the implementation of these playgrounds, that love all came from Mrs. Crabtree. She is the one who, a couple years ago, came to us and said, I would love to have new playground equipment for the lower school. And when it finally came time for it to happen, you need to understand, Mrs. Crabtree, because her love for the lower school, the faculty, staff, and the students, she did all of this. And by that I mean all of this. She picked out the colors, the equipment, the nuts and bolts, the brackets. She was out here watching them every day as they were putting it together. And that's just what Ms. Crabtree is all about. Anything that she's involved at, in at Webb School is about two things, love of the school and love of the students. And so today we are honored that we will be dedicating both of our playgrounds in honor of Ms. Crabtree. So can you come around here with me, Ms. Crabtree, please? We will be posting two signs on each playground that will read, the Angie Crabtree Playground, established in 2019. Dedicated to Angie Crabtree for 21 years of service and leadership for faculty, staff, and families, and her love and care for all children. Thank you, Ms. Crabtree, for your love of the kids in the school. Student council members have joined us today to officially cut the ribbon and open the playground. Brooks Grissom, We'll cut the ribbon. I would, like to, I would like to thank our student council and all of our lower school families, our students, faculty, and staff, junior Spartans, and kindergarten. Your playground is officially open. Student council, move out of the way. Go play on your playground! Hi, my name is Lily Grace Thome, and I'm here at the celebration of the opening of the new playground. I have Lila, a kindergartner, and Noah, a junior Spartan. Lila, what is your favorite part about this new playground? Oh, the igloo. <laughs> and Noah, what is one thing that Miss Crabtree has taught you? Um, uh, to be nice to other people. Yeah? Well, guys, I hope you have a blast on your new playground. I'm here with Miss Crabtree herself. Just a little blur about Miss Crabtree. You know, this playground, it's dedicated to her and 
for having her as my principal for six years. I know that this playground doesn't only stand as a symbol for the kids of like the happiness and you know a play that they get to come out to recess, but it's also just her lasting legacy that she's going to leave here on web that I know means so much to me and upperclassmen as well as the junior Spartans and the kindergartners. So Miss Crabtree, overall, just this new playground first for the children, what does it mean to you? Well, I'm absolutely excited to see them play every day. We've been talking about it. The research that the class of 2030 did to help develop this playground was a wonderful process. And I'm just delighted to see the joy on their face. And for me personally, I'm humbled by this wonderful honor. And it truly is a symbol of the love and the appreciation I have for Webb School and the wonderful 21 years I've been here. Well, Miss Crabtree, we sure are going to miss you. Thank you so much for all the love that you have put back into this school. Thank you, that was so sweet and awesome. They have now an amazing playing facility. Mm -hmm. Speaking of playing facilities, big congratulations to both the boys and the girls basketball team making all the way to regions, also winning their first region round game. Yes, for sure, you know, both the boys and the girls team just showing great sportsmanship and character on the course. That's a big deal as well. Yeah, congratulations. We wish you guys the best of luck moving forward. And now, Lily Grace, I'm going to kick it to you, and you're going to tell us a little bit about what's going to be up in the upper school. Yes, so as most of you guys know throughout What's Up, um, we have covered kind of all the sports in the sporting section. So fall, winter, we're kind of now to our last block of sports, and that's going to be the spring sports coming up. Um, very soon. So let's go ahead and jump to a few interviews with our team captains of those sports. Peter, senior year baseball, what are you looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to, we got a lot of new guys on the team this year, we got a lot of new guys starting, so it's going to be uh, really exciting to see them get out on the field and brand new team, brand new season. Nikki, why are you excited about track this year? I'm excited about track this year because the girls team is really big and we have a chance to win state for the first time ever, which is going to be really exciting. Play. Lacrosse is coming up, you know, it's starting. You're the team captain this year. Tell me a little bit about what you're excited for. Uh, I'm really excited. We got a lot of guys on the team and the schedule wasn't teams I've ever seen before, so be a good year. We are looking forward to that final um, show of sports there. On a different note, um, if you guys want to figure out what's going on at Web, details about any sort of event, go to our website. Go to our website at webschool.org and find anything you need to know there. Yes, for sure. And now, Kaylee, speaking about the calendar and you know the Web School website, today is a very important day. Do you know what it day is. it is? I do. February 14th, ladies and gentlemen, Valentine's Day. Let's remember to show some love to our parents, our teachers, you know, close friends. But let's remember, let's be respectful. Let's not friend zone anybody especially on <laughs> on this day um, but Kaylee if it's okay I do have a Valentine's Day joke let's do it what does a guy who loves his car do on February 14th I don't know you know what he does what he gives he do? it a Valentine <laughs> and then finally you know just gonna go ahead and do our everyday school joke Kaylee why was the math book sad I don't know because it was full of problems <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we hope you guys have the best February break. Stay safe, stay warm, and we'll tune in with you guys next time.